All right, hi, Prutha. Um, I'm a counselor on the MBA admissions team at the Red Pen, and thank you for taking the time to help us, uh, to walk us through um, what you learned during um, your application journey. Sure, yeah, thanks, Varun. Uh, and I'm like happy to be here and really excited to share whatever I've learned through my journey. Cool, well, let's start with uh, introducing yourself. Yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah, so, um, so I, completed my graduation from ID Kharagpur in 2019 with a major in aerospace engineering. So that's where I started. And uh, first I sort of uh, was interested in research. So sort of explored a couple of internships in that domain, but quickly realized that probably I'm somebody who likes more of quant and analytics and then moved my career towards analytics and took up a job as a planning analyst at Flipkart. Uh, my job was more or less related to building machine learning models um, in order to help inventory planning and business decisions. And later on, I decided to uh, go for a job at Goldman Sachs uh, in one of the upcoming divisions, which is the consumer banking division. Uh, and that is where I work right now. Um, so that's about me in terms of professional life. But uh, personally, I think I'm more of like a sport enthusiast. I like to explore a lot of sports um, and I've been like into swimming for more than a decade. So um, I've, I've been a national level swimmer. So sports is like an important part of my life. And other than that, I love to dance, travel and, you know, watch TV series. So that's more or less about me. Well, what I love about your profile is that you've already done some experimentation. You know what you don't want, like in the form of research. It's really important in your career to explore a few things and say, okay, definitely don't want that. And I prefer gravitating a different direction. Um, right. And I do appreciate the fact that you've got a well-rounded profile. It's not just, a, you know, work, 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 there's swimming, there's other things. I think uh, definitely is what, what people want. It's what people want in their team and what they want, people they want to work with. They want rounded individuals, you know. Right, yeah. Cool. Um, tell me why you uh, applied to business school. Uh, yeah, so like I was exploring my interest in analytics and uh, while I was doing that, I felt like I wanted to do something more. At that point, I wasn't very sure that, okay, you know, this is what I want to do. I'm more like a person who explores things and then figures it out for myself. So uh, while I was on job, uh, I thought that, you know, going into product management is something that will really excite me. Uh, and my current job also helps me to do some sort of that work to really help me understand whether that is meant for me or not. Uh, then I thought of business school because a, uh, I wanted to work for uh, companies, uh, like big tech companies, and recruitment for them is very challenging, especially when you don't have a background of working in product. And plus, it takes a really long time to, you know, navigate through your ways uh, to reach that particular place so I, I just thought that uh, in terms of my career B school made a choice uh, it, it made a lot of sense and uh, apart from that you know I also want to explore other parts um, such as like maybe consulting I'm not very sure of it but I just thought that B school is a place where I can also like get exposure to those kind of people learn from their experiences and overall then decide where I want to take my career from this point. So that's why I felt like B school fits uh, my journey. That's a fantastic reason to want to go to business school. You're right. Just to, to your point, get exposure, a couple of different things and seeing which avenue is, is the right one for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and even post business school, honestly, you know, um, your first job is often sometimes you feel similar to what you did. They learn what they want or don't want. <laughs> right. you know? So you're still young in your career. So I think you've got uh, the right uh, right thoughts in place. Um, let's talk about the application process and um, what. You, how did you organize yourself and the entire process? If you could talk, speak to us about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll start from the fact that first, uh, you know, it took me a really long time to uh, really convince myself that uh, B school is a place is something that I want to do. Uh, because, you know, at the end, I, I just talked to a few people who have done this before uh, for starters and, and just understood the process in the sense that, okay, I felt like, uh, you know, taking a help from a consultant will be very useful because, you know, you 
you maybe you know a lot of things about yourself but you don't know how to put it on paper so that was one thing and uh, so you know i decided whether i want to do it or not because then you have to also consider the financial aspect of it so but yeah ultimately i decided to do so because of the reason that i stated uh second was uh you know then then there are a lot of things in available for your help so what what is it that you want to take for yourself uh, then there comes the question of the kind of schools that you want to apply to because uh, you know there there are a lot of schools out there so you really need to know that and and you're going to invest a lot of um, amount when it actually comes to doing an mba so you really need to be sure that this is the school that you want to go to and this is what you want to get out of mba so i think that part of the journey was the most difficult one and the most time consuming one um and i would say once i got to a point that yes i want to apply uh, to b schools these are the schools that i think will probably like are in my radar of course i then narrowed it down but these are the schools that are in my radar uh, this is the kind of profile that i think will be suitable for the schools and it gives me a fair chance and uh, after all those calculations i i decided i uh, then then of course we'll, we'll talk about why trp maybe later but uh, after like uh, going through some choices that i had i i decided to go with trp and then uh, once that was done then i think <laughs> after that the journey was more or less took taken over by trp itself we went through my story we uh, made a list of schools we shortlisted the final schools and then we sort of created a timeline regarding you know considering the deadlines of deadline of each school and then when we want to complete what because we have essays we have lors we have a lot of things that need to be taken care of uh, for completing each application so so that was pretty much taken care of by drp yeah now, do you have any advice for someone based on what you learned and what the mistakes that you make or you just sort of any advice for someone during the starting out the process and how they should go about the whole thing yeah. um yeah i think uh, mistakes is definitely like uh when you start thinking about doing an mba uh i mean it's it's a good reason to think about doing an mba because other people are doing it that's that's i don't think there's anything wrong about it of course you can explore but the day when you decide you want to apply i think it has to be more of coming from your story and you know because the, the whole process is very uh, very exhausting to be very honest because it's it's very thorough so you need to deep dive into your past you need to really tie it up to what you want to do in the future so it's extremely important that you yourself are convinced that this is what you want to do because obviously you will meet people who support your decision and obviously you will meet people who do not and they nobody is right or wrong but they come from their own experiences or their own background and uh, it is you at the end of the day who needs to decide so i think the biggest mistake that people uh or maybe even i did was just you know okay i want to do an mba and you know these are the top three four schools that i've heard of and then let's just go and apply to them so i think yeah choosing the schools that you want to being very mindful of the fact that you are going to invest a lot of money and uh, being very mindful of the fact that what you want to get out of that experience so be very very uh, sort of self convinced i would say on that yeah i love the process of introspection that you went through prior to even like hiring a consultancy or doing anything else your school selection which was you decided that you you really wanted to do this and you wanted to do it for the for the right reason and not because everybody else has done it you know yeah, yeah. uh that's that's fantastic and you're right because that's what fuels you through the application process you know um go cool. um on that note um i would love to ask you how trp helped you in the process you know uh yes so i signed up with trp i think in mid may that was the time and um i had a score like i had a gre score when i started with uh, trp and um i just had a couple of interactions with them to just understand okay this is my profile this is the kind of thinking and sort of got that uh, reassurance that yes we can go ahead and you know uh, start with the b school process so uh once that was done uh, i remember the first thing that we did was there was like around a 4 hour long uh, session so <laughs> dheeraj was my consultant and uh, 
uh, there was a whole long it, it was supposed to be two and a half hour but yeah it went on for like much for much longer than that and it was more about just talking just talking about my life okay this is what this is how i grew up the this is what like my parents and my relatives look like and this is why i you know and it of course it was not always a very mature talk i would say it was just just very candidly whatever happened in my life and all of that so uh, honestly that helped in the sense that you know maybe not all of that went into the application actually none of it really went into that application but it's more of like you know the people that I'm going to work with for the next two three months they know who I am and where I'm coming from so wherever I write that personal essay they really you know understand what I want to write so sometimes what happens is you want to write something that might not be reflected in the exact words that you're using in the essay and the admission committee is gonna just give you like 10 minutes of their time to read your application so the challenge is to really put yourself on paper and everybody has a great story I'm, I'm sure like people have have exposure to very different things and I'm just one out of them and I felt like that session was very important to uh, to just get that background and, you know, start immersing in the process. So that was one. And later on, of course, we did uh, some GTKY, like a questionnaire where I had to answer a long list of questions, actually. There was some question, <laughs> the GTKY was so thorough and so long that I actually skipped some of them. And then Dheeraj came back and he's like, no, you have to fill each and every question. Each and every question is important. So yeah, we did that. And uh, later on, uh, once all of this was done and we were like, you know, 70, 80% happy with it. We said like, okay, let's now finalize the schools. Uh, so we took around two weeks to really finalize the schools. Uh, you know, uh, I think Dheeraj and Preeti and, uh, you know, some of the folks, they they just gave me some suggestions that like, these are schools you should consider. So, uh, so basically, uh, you, my strong reasons why I wanted to be in a city. Uh, so that's why, you know, some of the colleges, I, I chose it accordingly. And then, uh, you know, I have a sort of a background in quant, so I felt like some schools will be more interested in looking at my profile. So also, I, I took it very strategically. Also, I would say I would I also consider that which school will be really, you know, so it was both way that what school I like plus which school I think will uh, will be interested in having my profile in their class. So that was the second part of the process. And then of course, we started with the resume, we started with uh, letters of recommendation and everything like takes iterations, several iterations. So uh, we just made a very rough timeline using Excel just to understand like, what will take how much process so that we are on like online. And uh, yeah, the last thing was writing the essays, which is obviously the tough the toughest part I, I felt. And every, uh, every school had a very different uh, prompt so I had to think about it differently and then go back to that initial session that we did so that we can really write something personal. So, um, yeah, that, that's how it went. And then towards the end, it was a little bit hectic sometimes because, you know, the day when you actually have to submit the application, you're filled with anxiety and uh, you want to change a lot of things. So so uh, that's when you have to like take a deep breath and and know that okay you have worked really hard for two months and this is probably gonna work so just go ahead with it yeah um i love how you um researched the schools and actually looked for a fit and just went completely beyond the rankings that's mm -hmm. um is exactly what um i recommend most applicants do and um i <laughs> while the, it was a four hour session it sounds like it was quite in depth and the 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 mm -hmm. The, the getting to know you session, the going to know you questionnaire, you know, um, you're right that actually we get to understand applicants really well. And we often find stories that the applicant didn't think were, were exceptional or didn't think were, were worthy of writing. You know? mm -hmm. So, uh, and I actually think that um, it works really well. We, we tend to get much better applications out of that, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Right, true. Yeah, I agree on that. Cool. Um, well, hey, any final words of wisdom for uh, future applicants? Uh, no, I mean, 
Um, I would just say that probably, you know, even though the process is very thorough, very exhausting, it's still, it's just one of the thing in your life. So I think uh, people should always go with a mindset of uh, getting to know yourself better and getting to know about an opportunity better rather than taking it as life or death. The anxiety is mostly coming from, I understand the investment of time and energy and also money that goes into the whole process, but uh, you definitely are going to learn a lot of things from this process. So even if you don't make it to the school that you think was the best for you, uh, take it positively, um, you know, probably in some ways, it probably wasn't the 100% fit for you. And uh, always keep up the hope you can apply next rounds, you can apply next year. So I understand the pain, but just just be very, very uh, positive about it and be prepared for it. Maybe create a support system, talk to friends, be okay uh, to be vulnerable, I would say, because the other things, all all of the other things, we, there are, there are people to help you with, but the the rejection part of the process, that's the toughest part to crack, and uh, yeah, you, you don't know what's gonna happen, so be positive, I would say, and it, it's fine. Ultimately, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. Well, for that, uh, thank you so much for your time. Your wisdom uh, comes through, and I feel like you've definitely been through quite an introspective, introspective process. Mm -hmm. um yeah thank you for your time and i wish you the best of luck sure thank you thanks a lot